Alright everybody, David Henry here again from LearnStageLighting.com. Really excited to have you around for another day of this 30 days to becoming a lighting ninja. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about wiring up your DMX and your power. Okay, so we've gone ahead, we figured out where to put our lights and and where to prioritize putting certain types of lights as opposed to others. And now once you figure out where you want your lights to go, we got to make them work, right? And so, well, we haven't talked about consoles yet. That'll be tomorrow. I want to talk about, in this video, about setting up your lights and getting them wired together. Okay, so if we're looking at the screen here, I'm going to transition over to it. You can see here kind of a typical DJ setup. This this could be a pr pretty typical band setup as well. It could be a church setup. The The principles are all the same when it comes to wiring. So when you have lights, they're going to need two things, right? They need power and they need data. Okay, they need DMX signal, data from your lighting controller. So power, simply put, if you're working with LEDs or, you know, kind of entry-level moving lights and stuff like that, most of the time you're going to be working with wall power, okay? And, and that's all I'm really going to cover today is just, you know, basic, regular plug-in power, you know, see how much your unit is rated for, and make sure you don't exceed your outlets or else you're going to start tripping breakers. And, of course, the exact amount of power that's available on an outlet is, is going to vary country by country, and I know I've got people from all around the world here. So you're going to need power at every lighting position. And that power doesn't have to come from a central location. You can have a wall outlet with a circuit over there, one across the room, one behind you, one that you get from a different room around the corner, whatever. But your DMX, your data, how the lights hear the instructions on what to do, is going to come from a centralized location. And that's your lighting console. So wherever it may be, whether it's on stage, out front, um, by the soundboard, if it's, you know, somewhere else, that's the starting point for your data. And then in the simplest form, your data is going to go out of the console, follow this red line here, to your first light, to your second light, to your third light, to your fourth light, and on and on. When we do data like this when we connect it together for the DMX inputs and outputs on each fixture. That's called a daisy chain. And in DMX, you can daisy chain technically up to 32 devices without having any problems. Now, if you're going to use more devices or if they're more spread out, you're going to want to look into getting a DMX splitter. And all a DMX splitter does is it copies the information down different DMX ports. So you can send one line to DMX left, one line right, one line backwards, one line forwards. You can send your DMX in different directions without having to worry about running a second line so that you can dig Z chain through. It's, it's really handy actually. And so DMX splitters, I'll link to one in the video that I do recommend that's really inexpensive, um, but they're, they're not too pricey and they can definitely help you when you are starting out. The other thing to cover quick with DMX and, and wiring up data, I'll link it to a video as well about wiring up DMX, but wireless DMX. A lot of people ask me about wireless DMX, and I say wireless DMX can be okay in a lot of situations, but it's not going to work perfectly everywhere, and so you've got to be prepared for that. Always have a backup plan available, and check out the post on LearnStageLighting.com that goes more into the details, the things, the problems you can run into with wireless DMX, and how to overcome them. I've got that all there. Lastly, guys, before we say adieu and head on to tomorrow's video, remember to grab your free guide, the four things that you really need to know before you buy any lighting, before you buy anything, learn these four things and they're going to help save you time, they're going to help you save frustration, and they're going to help you save money. So check out that guide and be sure to subscribe here on YouTube. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.